Hey everyone, how are my friends this Tuesday afternoon? I'm going to talk today about how to overcome fear real quick with three body mind tips that I have for you. And my name is Bess McCarty. I'm founder and coach with the MLM Millionaire Club School for Network Marketers, making network marketing simple. So the uh, what I'd like to uh, share with you today is some oh some examples of why people quit, some reasons why people quit, and the blocks behind that, and what you can do right now to change that, to begin to improve that. Hello, Cindy. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Hello, Mike. Welcome, Michael. Uh, whoever is watching the replay, I'd love if you type replay so that I can thank you for that. And Annette, wow. Well, welcome, everybody. Glad you're here. Uh, it's going to be a very, very good talk today. Um, or very good information. And then I want to open it up afterwards for your feedback, comments, questions on this topic or any topic you'd like to ask a network marketing coach or any for personal growth, really, because they, they blend very much. So I wanted to share... Um, the reasons that people give up or quit or fail, and we know that the only failure is quitting, right? Because if you keep going, then just by definition, you can't fail. You keep going and find the, the solution for you. Hello, Linda. Welcome. So the reasons that people give up, I'm going to read these in little groups. Hello, Robert. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for being here. The reasons that people give up are that they expect, there are 16 reasons that I have here in this, in this little survey, but they, they expect results fast, too fast. Uh, they stop believing in themselves. They get stuck in the past and they dwell on mistakes. Those are the first four. Hello, Byron and Linda, hi. Glad to see you guys. Okay, so as I read through this list, there's 16 altogether, and as I read through this, maybe you want to make a little mental note or physical note of the ones that uh, seem like they could relate to you, because um, that could be a clue then how, how to work on them. So, um, hello, Jenna, welcome. The next four reasons why people give up are that um, they fear the future, they fear change in the future, they resist change, they give up their power, and they believe in their weaknesses. Okay, here's the next four. Feel the world owes them. Fear failure or fear success. Maybe the change that it would bring. They haven't visualized what's possible. And they feel they have something to lose. Do any of these resonate with you? That is deep, yeah. Robert says, dang, that's deep. Yeah, it is. Uh, actually, I've posted these on my Facebook page, so you can go back over these uh, or hear the replay here. Okay, the last four why people give up is they overwork. They assume their problems are unique. They see failure as a signal to turn back, or they feel sorry for themselves. There are more reasons, yes. <laughs> and um, uh, thank you, Roseanne, for being here. And Robert added, feeling righteous. Yep. So I wanted, did want to talk about the ego aspect of this, too. When we feel righteous, or our ego gets in the way, or we're not coachable, <laughs> right? Um, all those things. Or we have fears and we hold back. We don't make the calls because if people feel we aren't good enough, we don't deserve it, people are going to reject us. Or we have negative beliefs. Uh, I don't deserve this. It's for other people, not me. Um, I can't do this. I'm not a salesman. Or all these all these negative beliefs. Or I fear the change that it would bring. I guess my, if I was successful, my friends might not like me. I might lose my friends. Or if I'm successful... It means that I'm going to have to be uh, work like a dog forever and that I'm not going to have time for um, uh, recharging or, or the things, the other things that I love too. So those could be negative beliefs, fears, ego can all get in the way. And it's okay to have these things, these beliefs and feelings, and it's okay to have this much ego, but if it blocks you, 
If it's stopping you from getting what you want, then is it time to take a look at them and become humble and coachable and teachable rather than righteous? and say, well, maybe it would be in my best interest <laughs> to sweep this stuff away, the stuff that's holding me back, that does not serve me. Maybe it will be mm, rewarding for me, even though I don't want to take a look at myself. And Robert says, yeah, that's deep stuff. Don't want to take a look at myself sometimes, but maybe it will pay off for me to do that. Because what are the cost, what has been the cost to all of us for these blocks that have held us back so far. The cost could be, think if you're network marketing, think of all the money that you could have made by now in network marketing if you didn't have all these blocks that I just mentioned. Add it up. It might be hundreds, thousands, or even millions of dollars, right? And many people relate to this. And what is the cost to you in the future if you do not clear these blocks? For so many of you, I know that it's millions and millions of dollars. Plus, the cost is peace of mind, joy, happiness, health, sleep, being able to sleep well, and all that you could have given your family. That would be the cost if not handling the blocks. Welcome, Bradley. Glad to see you. Thank you for the likes and loves. And by the way, if you know somebody uh, like on your team or friend who can use this information, would you share it? Would you tag them and let me know that you did so that I can thank you for that? And time is another block. How do you get rid of those blocks if they're internal, Linda says. Great. That's what we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, I'm going to start with the easiest way to get rid of the blocks. Welcome, Kareem. Gosh, I am a body-mind therapist for 30 years, and I know and experience that the easiest way to clear out the body-mind or the, the psyche, the emotions and the beliefs that keep us, that hold us back, the easiest way is through the body. Why is that? Is that weird? Hello, Mark. Welcome. <laughs> is that weird to say you can change the stuff through your body? That's what a body-mind therapist is. Why the body? And I'm going to talk about tips about how to do that in just a moment. But why the body? It's because the, the subconscious and the body and the emotions are all intimately connected, intricately, intimately connected. And they're on the right brain, on the right side of the brain. So the left side of the brain can do affirmations and all that, but it's the subconscious part of us that really is in charge of our programming. It was there before our intellect even. It was, it was created um, in the womb even, and birth and up to seven months. And so the subconscious is stronger than the intellect. And so that's why affirmations often are not enough. Thank you for the likes and loves, everybody. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. And um, Robert says, I heard you on MLM Nation. Simon Chan interviewed me recently, posted that on my Facebook page yesterday. Thank you, Simon. He, he was just awesome. You guys, check out MLM Nation, too. <laughs> We're fellow teachers. We work for the same cause and mission, Simon and I. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Robert. Um, okay, body-mind therapies. So these were... Um, the negative programs were connected, were created in our subconscious long ago, usually by the age of three, by our programming, role models, circumstances in our life. So this can set the pattern for our whole life unless we go back in and change them. They aren't real easy to change because they were created from a place of pain and deep emotion. And the way to change them is to go back into that uh, scene, that programming, that the way that they were originally created this, this, uh, when we were little, and go back there and heal that. We bring love and we bring a rewriting of the past, essentially, and we're able to change that. And that is what I do with people. It's not uh, easy to do alone, and it's, it's very helpful to have someone who knows how to help you with this and to go back and change that and rewrite the past, essentially. Um, and I have a program to do that. I have, actually have a free class that I will post in the comments when this Facebook Live is done. Where you, can, you can go and have this free class. 
Meanwhile, I want to share with you three quick trip tips that are on that class, but they're, they'll give them to you real quick now, and it, the class goes more into it. So um, the three quick tips of how to change your emotional mental state immediately, three body-mind tips, remember, because the body and the mind are very closely connected, so our dreams and emotions are all real connected together. Hello, Sharon. Welcome. So first body-mind tip is breathe. This is so simple that it's overlooked and it's free. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to make an appointment with a therapist. You can just breathe. This is magic because science has shown that breathing deeply and being stressed or holding that negative beliefs or emotions, you can't do both at the same time. Isn't that cool that you can have a choice and that you know that you can switch the TV channel. So, um, it's simply breathing, not shallowly into our chest, but deeply into our belly. And if you put your hand on your belly, put a thumb on your navel and your hand on your low belly, that is the area and body-mind of grounding and centering and focusing and knowing what you need. That's where your gut level intuition is. And so that's why you know what's needed in the moment and uh, you, you do what's needed. So this is, this is really a cool body tip. You simply breathe into your low belly and into your chest if you want, but make sure it gets all the way down into your low belly. Most of us breathe too shallowly. And so it stops about at our, uh, you know, our upper chest. But when your diaphragm's relaxed, it's going to displace your viscera. So you don't really, there's not lungs down in your belly, but that means you're breathing all the way in your lungs and it displaces your, um, your guts out. So, um, <laughs> Robert says, wow, and Sharon says, hi. Hi, Sharon, elder. <laughs> so, um, breathing down into your belly can relax you, focus you, and center you in seconds. You can, you can take 10 deep breaths and your state will change if it's a negative state that you don't like. If you're scared of making your calls, if you're nervous, if you don't know what to say in the moment, take a breath. No one's going to notice that you took a second to take a breath. But if you do take a few of them, you will, it can shift you. Science says you cannot be stressed and breathe deeply at the same time, so it will shift you out of the negative state. So, hey, Jeffrey, glad to see you. Thank you for watching. Second body mind tip that, um, and by the way, if anybody considers themselves a network marketing professional, I'd love if you type pro in the comments because I want to congratulate you for that. doesn't mean full time, but just means um, uh, that you have high ethics and that you um, lead your business professionally. I'd love to congratulate you. That's what we want to promote. So um, second body mind tip is posture. Yeah, have you ever seen that Charlie Brown cartoon? where um, Charlie Brown is slumped down, and I think Snoopy or somebody, or she's ta he's talking to somebody, and he says this. He's all slumped down, you know, with his head hanging down, and he says this is how you have to stand if you're going to be depressed. You can't stand upright and lift your head because then you won't be depressed anymore. So if you want to do depression properly, you have to, you have to, you know, hang Slump, slump your back and hang your head down and look at the ground. Because Charlie knew, Charlie Brown knew, that posture affects your body-mind. Posture. Your body, posture affects your mind and emotions. And so you can, um, if you want to feel good, then stand up straight while you're talking to your prospects. Um, on the phone, they will actually feel a difference. And smile. They'll, they'll, you can hear a smile on the phone. So all of this makes a difference. Another tip is to dress up when you make your calls because you will feel better and that posture and confidence will come across. So posture, uh, whether you're sitting and talking with somebody, whether you're standing. But if you're making calls, I recommend standing up. Um, so third body mind tip is to stand in the horse stance. And I go into this more into the class, but basically it's standing with your feet a little bit apart, bending your knees a little bit, breathing into your tummy like we just practiced a minute ago, and having that good posture, having your head on right, having your head on straight, having your head over your shoulders not sticking out, and having your spine vertical, not slumped down, because that will, it changes your mind and emotions. 
like posture and dressing up, Linda says. Yep. Anybody have a question so far? Please go ahead and type that in because I'm going to round up the, the um, Facebook Live in just a minute and post the link to the free teleclass where I go more into detail about all this. And I think you'll love it. Body Mind Tips. Uh, it's the quickest way to change your state. Hi, Lu Lucy. Welcome. Thank you for the likes and loves, everybody. Thank you for sharing. If you know somebody that can benefit th from this, thank you for tagging them here. Just about all of us can, right? We can all improve our body, mind, which is our mind and emotions. So I will, um, any questions about this or anything else you want to ask a network marketing coach, just go ahead and type that in. I will leave you the link for that free teleclass. It goes more into this. It is deep. I love changing lives. I love transforming myself and helping other people to do that too. And that's what I've been doing for 30 years as a body-mind therapist. And I used to be a full-time network marketer. Um, my company quit. Now I'm dedicated solely to coaching the last 10 years. And I bring this to network marketers, the body-mind work and the clearing and the freedom that you get when you can live life on your terms, when you can live the life that you know you deserve to have, free of this baggage and the ball and chains that is our, um, our negative beliefs and ego and negative emotions that hold us down. So I want this for you guys. If you want it for yourself, I recommend get that, get that teleclass. Get that free teleclass I'll put in the link. And i uh, love to help you to your next step. Lucy says, you rock. It takes one to know one, girl. <laughs> Lucy Morris. You guys should check out her. She's an archery teacher and an awesome network marketer. Um, so thank you each for being here. Any questions uh, going once, twice? <laughs> Any questions or comments? Let us hear your advice, too. I'd like to uh, hear your advice and thoughts that I can read for everybody. If you put those in the comments, I'll read those for people. If you have a question about this or anything about network marketing. Annette says you do rock. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. I want the best for you. I want freedom for you and for all of us to be who we truly are without the blocks in the way. And all the people that we're going to help, you know, that's your destiny to serve life. That's when we're the happiest and we do what we're here to hear put here meant to do. So uh, I want this for you all. And um, love helping. Love helping you. That's what makes me get up in the morning. So thank you. Thank you Annette and Lucy and everyone. Gonna go ahead and sign off. I'll put that for you in the link. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, if this means, if this has helped to you, please think who else it might help and share it with them because we want to reach as many people as we can with this real beautiful, simple information and helps. Let's go out and change the world. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.